of St John's Hall. I was coming home from work that night and uh, I bought the Echo, as everyone used to do, and look at it, all, all the sort of uh, billing in the local papers and, you know, where you were playing, who was playing where, and it was on. So I went a bit early and uh, I watched them. And I couldn't believe it. This group came on. They were doing like four solos in one song. You know, you know, never heard of it that, that, that day. You do the song straight from the record as best you can, but you didn't put like half a dozen solos in it and jump on chairs and, and you wouldn't smoke either on stage where the Beatles and you wouldn't wear what they wore on stage. And not only that, uh, when they came off, Lennon was fighting at the back with some bloke. So I mean, the first time I saw them, St John's, all it was like total chaos, you know. And, and also, which impressed me a lot, was people actually stopped dancing. They all stopped dancing and they just... You know, St John's always, you know, it's a big, long room, narrow room. They all stopped dancing and just all walked forward and watched the band. And we thought, something happening here. Something strange is happening here. And they watched the band and they were actually... And, the, and what I also did notice was Pete playing the bass drum was really loud. I mean, it was straight boom, boom, straight forwards all the time on the bass drum. I always remember the strange style where we were doing a very... Boom, boom, you know, shadow stuff, you know, but Pete was going boom, 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 all the time. Straight tempo on the bass drum, it was unbelievable, and it sounded really powerful. And that's what I always remember from the, the first time seeing the Beatles. I mean, strange memories, isn't it? A fight, <laughs> the space drum, the, the gear they were wearing, and also the instruments they were playing were quite unusual as well. They were rougher, which meant that they.